Hey guys, wanted to start uh, my series of videos on the Samsung Galaxy S3 for T-Mobile. Um, been using it for a uh, few hours now, just over four or five hours, and it's uh, impressed me. So the first thing I want to go over is the pop-up video. I really, 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 really like the pop-up video. So I got a video started here. Pop it out. 1S, meet Verizon's iPhone 4S. And then Let's you can just move it around. It's T Mobile's 4G network and it gets Verizon. You can go into any other application. T Mobile opened and downloaded four times faster than Verizon. And there you have it. Faster is better. Works good. So let me see what web page I got here. One second, guys. All right, get a page loaded up here, and then we'll put another uh, put another um, video up here. You can surf the web, why you watch another video, text, whatever you want to do. With T-Mobile's HTC Amaze 4G on the left, you can see the video playing right there, the and right. then I can open up the web page. Let's down with down. See what happens. I can surf the web in the background. The dimming that you're looking at there is the auto bright. On this phone, I haven't. Uh, let me see if I can find it on camera here. Brightness. There it is. Let's turn off auto bright. Because that brightness is horrible for web browsing. There you go. Let's go to default. I like a bright web page like that one web browsing. So you can see the video just moves around. Or it stays in that spot in the web page. You can go ahead and surf, do whatever you want to do. I think that's nice. It stays in the background the entire time. Too bad it doesn't work on YouTube videos. That would be a nice application to have if you know of a, you can play your YouTube videos and pop them out like that. You could obviously download your, your YouTube videos and run them, but um, that's the uh, pop-up video feature for the uh, Galaxy S3. I think it's an amazing feature. They, they couldn't have did it any better. The I won't say the name of the other application because respect to that application, it is a great application. But Samsung uh, appears to have mastered it. They've they've done it. Hey, let's try to play a video. Let's try to play a video and see what happens. Let's see what this processor can do. Video stopped. A new video playing or something like that's what it says okay so at least you know now you can't play another video at the same time but that's cool all right so that's a quick look at pop-up video which I think is a, a very nice feature and I hope you're enjoying your Galaxy S3 as well I'll see you in the next video Gonna start loading them up. The weekend's coming. Don't have anything. Well, I'm supposed to play some pool this weekend. Uh, billiards, for those who know. Uh, I'm supposed to play some pool, uh, and there's a company event this weekend. I probably won't go to it, but I'll shoot some videos tonight, and um, we'll get it. Uh, we'll get these series going, and I'll get my final review and the should you buy it, you know, the spill. So I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, uh, benchmarks. Let's go ahead and start with Antutu. And I'll start the video, and then I'll um, let it go for a little bit. And um, you can see a previous score there. Score 55 on another and um, 51 on that one. Looks like that's about where it's been in the 5,000s, which is, uh, that's great. Uh, the quad core version though it gets double that amount and gee i wonder why it's a quad core so i'll let this run for a second or two 
then I will pause and come back and you'll see the finished product Galaxy S3 has been um, pretty impressive uh, but you know I hear people saying that the battery life's great I haven't had a chance to tweak the phone to, to my liking to save battery life normally I don't have sync turned on but I've been leaving it on because I have had to catch up on so many emails um, it's just been a onslaught of emails texts and everything so I had sync uh, still on for my emails to come in because I wasn't at a computer for a while uh, but um, all in all the battery um, it was at 100 percent a little while ago and now it's uh, down to 70 and uh, it's just because it's getting worn out right now anytime something's new it uh, you, you bang it out when you first get it after you get used to it everything comes in it'll start to flow smooth let's pause for a little bit and I'll let this run and I'll be back alright so it, uh, I looked away for a second came back so here is uh, 5152 uh, for the uh, 2.2 so let's now go to um, it scored exactly the same isn't that something let's uh, clear that out and let's go down to quadrant standard um, let's see if the system information will read right let's see what it's got here 4.0.4 T999 yep quad core or excuse me dual core 15 12 each okay so it is reading it. Sometimes it in my other phones it didn't read both cores and I end up running a test a couple times. But here it is. T Mobile Samsung Galaxy S3 Quadrant Standard. And this test isn't really a a, a long test, so I might just let this one go all the way through. Holding steady at about 49 or so. Jumps to 61 right there, 31, 45. It's jumping around a little bit. It's probably averaging about 59, 60. Really low frame right there, 20s. All right, let's look at the results. There we are. And here it is. It says it scored a 33.27. That's extremely low, but let's look down here. Look at those numbers. There you go. Important. And we can, that test is never the same. I could run it here again in a few moments and it'll say something completely different. It'll be 7,000. All right, so, um, no, and start, and no. Now, this is a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy test. So I'm going to uh, let it run for a little bit, then I'm going to pause it, come back, pause it, come back because I really want to have just one video uh, file I don't want to do any kind of editing like some of the other videos I have to do I have to edit it and put it together in pieces I don't feel like doing that as you can see this is the 11 pieces if you can see it up there oh no it's coming across I'm going to let this run a little bit I'm curious to see how this will render here. Oh, I forgot browser mark. I got to do browser mark as well. It's actually shooting through this pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I haven't ran this test in a long time. It looks like they've got some new things on here. I don't remember seeing any of these. 
Uh, I remember this. Uh, we're already uh, over halfway through, so maybe I'll let it go or not. Be right back, guys. All right, it's still going. It's uh, actually on nine of eleven. Should be finishing up here soon. You can see the progress here. Now, 10 of 11. This is the text. So what do you think, guys? Do you have this phone? Are you getting it? What's it going to be? You might as well forget the price because they're not budging on it. If you wanted to get it first, you're going to pay this price. Now, granted, I already checked with Walmart. They're going to have it. They said in a couple of places I called, so they won't have it for two months. So I was like, you know what? Money's not an option. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I wanted to get it anyway. So this is coming to a close. I'm going to pause again. All right, guys. It has come to an end. And look at that score. 1482. That's a very good score. Alright, so let's go to the next uh, benchmark test here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to do a browser mark. I'm sure I have a um, browser mark in here. There it is. Let's do browser mark. And go. I think I have everything set to on demand. So um, I might have to catch some of these as they go. This is, this too again is a very long test so I'll have to pause it. I don't want to make this video 20 minutes just for benchmarks. So I'll pause for a moment. Alright guys here is our score 72254. Alright that's a browser mark. Last one is the speed test. I, um, as you know, I don't get very good um, signal here in my house. Um, for whatever reason, it chooses to, you know, just not give me a give me a good run. But let's run a couple speed tests again. And you know, these are just they're they're not for everybody. I mean, everybody's speed is going to be completely different. So take it for what it's worth. You can see me pinging here, probably at 1100. <laughs> so uh, let's see what the speeds do. You know my rule of thumb, anything over 5 megabytes, excuse me, megabits, you're doing well. I've been getting about 12 at the office or 10 at the office, and here I've got about 8, 7 or 8. Let's change the server here to a closer server. That's T-Mobile's server. Let that test finish. And let's start it again, see if we get some different results. I had an issue when I first started doing these with the GPS locking, but yeah, you know, once I got outside, I'm indoors now, so the GPS definitely locks on. Um, but um, it's kind of weak at first, but now it locks on pretty quickly. Right, let's run it again here. I'll show you some other speeds too. I mean, this, these speeds are faster than some home internet um, speeds, so can't complain. Streaming, though, is, is great, so that's all that counts. All right, let's look at some, some of the other results here. Let me set them to... Ah, oh, shoot. The tools... There you go. 
You can see some of the speeds are got a lot of tens, a lot of nines, well, a couple of nines, a lot of sevens. I mean, but overall, it's good. So I've gone over 10 minutes with this video. I didn't want to. But uh, those are some benchmarks and a speed test for the T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S3. See you in the next video.